Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Like many of you, I have a buttload of gadgets. I mean, they're not in me or anything. I mean, they're, they're on my shelves here, my home office. These devices are capable of, you know, playback of audio, or video, and certainly viewing images. That's not a problem. The problem is, is that most of my media sits somewhere on my home network, specifically on any one of my computers. And synchronizing that media uh, between the computer and the device is sometimes a trick and a half, especially if that device was not designed to be synchronized with the computer. If the software doesn't exist, or worse yet, the software does exist, but it sucks. <sighs> We've been waiting a long time for what I'm about to show you. Right now, it's available for Mac OS X, and there is a private beta for Windows users of this program or application, depending on which operating system you happen to be using, Double Twist. This is a piece of software that will allow you to better synchronize your media between your computer, again, Mac and PC, when I say PC, I mean Windows, to a device, a supported device. And what devices are supported? I'm glad you asked, even though I couldn't hear you ask, I'm assuming you're asking this question. Well, in the forums right now, uh, one of the, uh, the moderators, the administrator, uh, says, this is the outline, right now it supports the BlackBerry, Curve, Pearl, Storm, Bold, and Flip, the Sony PSP, uh, the INQ1, the G1 and Android phones, Nokia N and E series, Sony Ericsson, Walkman, and Cybershot phones, Windows Mobile 5 and 6, like Treo, Palm, HTC, etc. That's currently PC only, but Mac support is coming, they say, very soon. Uh, a couple of LG phones, Motorola phones, Zune, that's right, that's PC only at this point in time. Uh, Sansa E200 series and Sansa View, uh, the Amazon Kindle, the iPhone, and iPod currently PC only, but they're working on Mac support. That's kind of ironic. Uh, the Nintendo DSi support is coming soon. Most digital cameras and then most flash memory-based camcorders are supported as well. So the list of supported devices is going to grow over time. And they've even got a, a nice little uh, image uh, icons right here under the supported devices pane. And it's kind of uh, ironic. It, this is the pane, but it's no longer going to be a pane to synchronize media between any of those devices, and then some over time, and your computer, whether it's running Mac OS X or Windows. This is huge. This is like the last mile. You know what this frustration is like. You know, I know you know this, because there's no software that is perfect. And even if it is perfect, it only works with one device. But as geeks, we have way more than just one device. And these devices are great on their own. They're perfect, or, or I mean, close to perfect. But getting the media there and synchronizing all devices together is bah, maddening. This does make it easy. And what's more, if I go to the photos list, it automatically here on Mac OS 10 detects my iPhoto and aperture folders, my picture folder, and then I can also define uh, separate picture folders. I could uh, select any particular picture if I wanted to and uh, then send it to either my Facebook profile or Flickr or specifically a double twist friend. And I know I'm going to get a lot of double twist friend invites. However, um, I'm going to be very selective and protective uh, of who I decide to have as a double twist friend uh, just because I tend to get a lot of requests and um, pretty soon double twist may slow down because I get too many friends. I, I wouldn't like that. I, I like, I like a, a fast responsive system. So I know that, that you guys are going to add me as a double twist friend, but I, I may not add you back. Just don't be surprised if I don't. There's also the music uh, section, which of course ties directly into uh, iTunes, of course. Then you could also go in and select uh, separate folders if you wanted to, ad hoc, uh, and then video as well. And the nice thing about the video uh, pane is that you can authenticate with YouTube and send videos directly to your YouTube account. So it's a, a, a media manager, a basic media manager, that is essentially the um, Uber station of media management with your devices. It's available, as I said, right now for Mac OS X, but keep checking. There is a private Windows beta. When this thing goes, you know, full bore, it goes gold, it's out there. I can almost guarantee everybody is going to have this on their desktop. It's free. Seriously.
well, at least the basic accounts. I get that they, they say an account is free, so I don't know if they're going to be adding pro accounts at some point in the future. If you have more than one gadget on your uh, person at any given time, you're going to want Double Twist. There's nothing, nothing out there quite like this. At least not that I've seen. Certainly not as clean as this experience has been on Mac OS X. If you're a Windows beta tester, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Well, even if you're not, feel free to drop me a line on any particular software that you know, maybe your favorite gadget even. It doesn't matter. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're doing. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know we've got our community over at geeks.perillo.com. That's kind of the extended universe, uh, to use that uh, analogy, of the... Uh, uh, what, what do we do here? I mean, we've got this live video, the chat room, the YouTube, the Twitter. I mean, we're just geeks. That's all. And we hang out throughout the day and night as well because this thing is going on 24-7. Ah, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to stop by and, and say hello. Feel free to join us. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.